sixth grade, module one, lesson 13, classwork. Exercise one. Jorge is mixing a special shade of orange paint. He mixed one gallon of red paint with three gallons of yellow paint. Based on this ratio, which of the following statements are true? And then it says, use the space below to determine if each statement is true or false. So he has, let's draw it out first. He has one gallon of red paint with three gallons of yellow paint. I'm gonna draw that. For one gallon of red paint, he has three yellow paint. Okay, so now let's look at set the A says three fourths of a four gallon mix it would be yellow paint. So it's saying three out of four would be yellow. And that's true. We can see one, two, three out of the four total gallons are yellow. So this is true. For every one gallon of yellow paint requires one third of red paint. So if we only had one gallon of yellow paint, then that's only one third of what we need. So we'd need to break this red one into thirds. So we would only have a third of the red paint. So that one is also true. Every one gallon of red paint requires three gallons of yellow paint. So one gallon of red requires one, two, three gallons of yellow. So that is true. There is one gallon of red paint in a four gallon mix. So it's saying there's one gallon of red in a one, two, three, four gallon mix. That is true. And there are two gallons of yellow paint in an eight gallon mix of orange paint. So if we had an eight gallon mix, it would be, so this is a four gallon mix, an eight gallon mix would be double everything. So there would be two red and then one, two, three, four, five, six yellow. So it wouldn't be two gallons of yellow, it would be six. So this last one is false. Exercise two. Based on the information on red and yellow paint given in exercise one, complete the table below. All right, so we have for every, it was for every one gallon of red paint, so one gallon of red, three gallons of yellow. So one gallon of red, three gallons of yellow. And the relationship was three is equal to one times three. So two red would be six because six is equal to two times three. For every three gallons of red, we would need nine because three times three is nine. For every four gallons of red, we need 12 yellow because 12 is equal to four times three. And for every five, five times three is 15, because 15 is equal to five times three. Three. Exercise three, A. Jorge now plans to mix red paint and blue paint to create purple paint. The color of purple he has decided to make combines red and blue paint in the ratio four to one. If Jorge can only purchase paint in one gallon containers, construct a ratio table for all possible combinations for red and blue paint that will give Jorge no more than 25 gallons of paint. So first we need to look carefully because it says that the ratio of red and blue is four to one. So notice red is first, blue is second, but on the chart blue is first and red is second. So when we put it in our chart, it's going to be one to four, not four to one. So that's the first place that you need to pay close attention. And the relationship is that the red paint four is equal to one times four. So then if we had two gallons of blue, that would be eight because two, not, because eight is equal to two times four. If we had three, that times four would be 12. So that's equal to three times four. 
4 would be 16, and 5 would be 20. Write an equation that will let Jorge calculate the number of red paint, the amount of red paint he will need for any given amount of blue paint. So it wants to know if we know for any amount of blue paint, how much red paint will we have? Well, what we're doing is we're multiplying the blue paint times four to get the red paint. So we can say blue times four equals red. Or if we wanted to just shorten that, we could say 4 times blue, or 4B, is equal to red. Write an equation that will let Jorge calculate the amount of blue paint he will need for any given amount of red paint. So now we're doing the opposite. We want to know if we go from the red paint to the blue paint, what do we need to multiply by? Well, it's all, if we're going backwards, we'd be multiplying by one fourth. So all of those would be multiplying by one fourth. So we can say that blue is equal to one fourth times red. Or we can just say B is equal to one fourth R. If Jorge has 24 gallons of red paint, how much blue paint will he have to use to create the desired color of purple? That we can use either of those two equations that we just had. So we know that blue is equal to one fourth red. And if our red is 24, so one fourth times 24, that would be one fourth times 24, or if you just know what one fourth of 24 is, it's 24 fourths, which is equal to six. So he'll have six gallons of blue paint. If Jorge has 24 gallons of blue paint, how much red paint will he have? So this time we know that the red is equal to blue times four. So blue times four would be 24 times four. And that is equal to, four times four is 16, four times two is eight plus one is nine. So that would be 96 gallons of blue paint. B, using the same relationship of red to blue from above, create a table that models the relationship of the three colors blue, red, and purple total paint. Let B represent the number of gallons of blue paint, let R represent the number of gallons of red paint, and let T represent the number of gallons of purple paint. Then write an equation that models the relationship between the blue paint and the total paint and answer the questions. So if we have one gallon of blue paint, that was four gallons of red paint, and then the total paint that we have is five, five total gallons. So if we had two blue, that would be eight red, and then the total is 10. If we had three, three times four it was 12 red, so that's 15. Four would be 16 red, and that would be 20 gallons, and five, five times four is 20, which is a total of 25 gallons. So an equation that we can see to get from the blue paint to total, every time if we're just multiplying it by five, we get to the total paint. So we could say that five blue is equal to the total paint. What's the value of the value of the ratio of total paint to blue paint? So we want to know total paint to blue paint. So that ratio is 5 to 1, or so then the value would be, remember the value is written as a fraction, 5 to 1. And we can't reduce that anymore, so that is the value. How is the value of the ratio related to the equation? So this value is used to determine the total paint that we have, and we get that by multiplying it with the blue paint value. So let's say 
the value is used to find the total paint, because that's what we have, total. by multiplying it with the blue paint. Because five is the value and we're multiplying it by the blue paint, which gets us the total paint. Exercise four. During a particular U.S. Air Force training exercise, the ratio of the number of men to number of women was 6 to 1. Use the ratio table provided below to create at least two equations that model the relationship between the number of men and the number of women participating in the training exercise. So men to women was 6 to 1, meaning that women is second, so that's 1. So 1 to 6 is what's going to go in the chart. So then if there were two women, that's 12 men. 3, notice we're multiplying by 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. And 5 times 6 is 30. So our equation, we could do women times 6 is equal to men. Or you could just say 6w is equal to men. If we wanted to do the opposite, we could take 1 sixth of the men, and that would be equal to women. If 200 women participated in this training exercise, use one of your equations to calculate the number of men who participated. So we want to know the number of men. So women times 6 is equal to men. So if we take the women, 200, and replace it, and multiply it by 6, 200 times 6 is 1,200 men who would have participated. Exercise 5. Malia is on a road trip. During the first five minutes of Malia's trip, she sees 18 cars and 6 trucks. Assuming this ratio of cars to trucks remains constant over the duration of the trip, complete the ratio table using this comparison. Let T represent the number of trucks she sees, and let C represent the number of cars she sees. Let's start by filling in the chart. So number of trucks to cars, she sees 18 cars and 6 trucks. So when she sees 18 cars, she sees 6 trucks. So to get from 6 to 3, we divided by 2. So let's divide by 2 to get from 18 to here. 18 divided by 2, that would be... 9. 3 to 9 would be an equivalent ratio. And then to get from 3 to 1, we divide by 3. So let's divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 would be 3. And so we got the value here, 1 to 3. So now we just know we're multiplying by 3. So we can see 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 6 times 3 is 18. 12 times 3 would be 36. And we have 60, but we need to know what this is. So we can divide by 3 and get 20. What is the value of the ratio of the number of cars to the number of trucks? So cars to trucks, the value is 3 to 1, 3 over 1. What equation would model the relationship between cars and trucks? We could say that trucks times 3 is equal to cars or three trucks, three times trucks equals cars. Or there's another, you could also model it differently. You could say that the trucks is equal to one third the amount of cars. At the end of the trip, Malila had counted 1,254 truck, trucks. How many cars did she see? So what we could do, find the equation. We want to know cars. So let's use this equation. 3 times the amount of trucks, 1,254, would be equal to the number of cars she saw. So let's do 
1,254 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 3 times 1 is 3. She saw 3,762 cars. And exercise 6. Kevin is training to run a half marathon. His training program recommends that he runs 5 minutes and walk for 1 minute. Let R represent the number of minutes running, and let W represent the number of minutes walking. Let's fill in the chart. So for every five minutes he runs, he walks for one minute. So we can see that the walking times five gets us the running. Or we can divide by five and get the walking. So 20, if we divide that by five, we get four minutes of walking. Eight, if you multiply that by five, you'll get 40 minutes of running. And 50, if we divide that by five, we have 10 minutes of walking. So what is the value of the ratio of the number of minutes walking to the number of minutes running? So the number of minutes walking is 1 to the number of minutes running is 5. So the value is 1 to 5 or 1 fifth. What equation could you use to calculate the minutes spent walking if you know the minutes spent running? So we want, if we know running, what can we do to figure out walking? So we could say walking is equal to running, the number of minutes running, and then we divide that by 5. So, or we could say 1 fifth running, or we could say walking is equal to running divided by 5.